how to copy my course from Blackboard into D2L. So first go into Packages and Utilities in Blackboard and Export Archive and Export Package. I'm just going to select the entire thing except for announcements. I'm going to do fresh announcements, but that's up to you. And then Submit. And then while I'm waiting, I'm going to go to uh, D2L and in the current semester, I'm going to go to the course I want to bring it into and click on Course Tools and Course Admin. And then in the Site Resources, go to Import, Export, Copy Components. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Select Components. I like to scroll to the top now so I can see the course name while I'm doing this. And in case I do more than one at a time, I can see which one I'm dealing with. And then hit Start. And, and in a moment, I'm going to come back here and, and upload the zip file. But let's go back to Blackboard and refresh. And there's the zip file. I can just click on it and that will that will put it into downloads. And now I can go back to import export uh, copy components and then click upload. And if I go to the downloads folder, there it is. And import all the components. This might take a bit. And so while it's Im importing, I just want to talk about a few issues. So um, in my original Blackboard site, I have a discussion board and I have only one discussion forum. And the word for Blackboard uh, in Blackboard for a discussion forum means that a, a place where if you go in, you can post um, documents or post um, threads or replies to a thread. That is the word forum. In D2L, um, a forum is a group of what they don't call them forums, they call them topics. Every topic has the ability to post threads or replies to threads. A forum is something that holds a group of topics and you have to have a forum in order to have topics. So this will auto-generate a topic called forum1 and then a um, forum that that is above the, the topic also called forum one, and uh, and if there if you have more than one, then it will have a, a new forum for every topic. If you have more than one in Blackboard, so it's it's almost done. Um, gone through this process. This process will take longer if the course was larger. Another thing that um, if you go into the grade center. It won't bring any of my students uh, with their grades, but it will bring the structure. But something it will also bring, if you go to Manage and then Categories, there's a lot of pre-installed categories uh, in this course. Um, assignments, blogs, discussion, or whatever. It'll bring each of these. It'll also bring a weighted total and total, um, which are not used. They have their own ones in D2L, and we're going to need to get rid of those. Okay, it's done, so I can go view content, and here's all the content. So now, um, I can also go into quizzes and, or assessments and assignments. I can see the one assignment I have, and it's linked. That's what this symbol here means, that it's, um, it, it's linked to the Grade Center. And if I go into quizzes, similarly, they're all linked, but they're not visible to students. So now, I can uh, go into Grades. And there's all my students and there's the columns. But if I go to manage grades, then I can get rid of stuff. Um, and I have a video on on um, how to get rid of things that are in the Blackboard Grade Center uh, that's brought over to D2L and how to, um, how to get that. And I'll include that in the description. But um, if you go into discussions, there is, um, because there were groups, there's a discussion group. And um, similar with journals, I have another video that I'll also put in description about how to do journals in the uh, D2L better than, than how this is set up. But um, I can delete these if I want, but I have to delete them um, one topic at a time. Um, I'm not going to delete them now, I'm, I'm, I might use them. But that's how to transfer content from Blackboard into D2L.